In 1973, Secretariat became the first horse to win the Triple Crown in 25 years. He won by a jaw-dropping 31 lengths. His time of 2 minutes and 24 seconds for a mile and a half set a world record many argue may never be broken. Secretariat became so popular, Time Magazine, Newsweek, and Sports Illustrated featured the horse on the cover all in the same week. But on October 4, 1989, Secretariat was given a lethal injection after suffering from a painful hoof disease. We have the very last footage ever taken of the legendary horse, and that's why this is a big, hairy deal. Secretariat was born in a manger. Of course he was. He was a horse. In 1972, his seven victories in nine races enabled him to become the first two-year-old to be voted Horse of the Year. The 13-horse Kentucky Derby shaped up as a duel between Secretariat and Sham. The two held back early, Secretariat at the rear, Sham just off the lead. Secretariat moved to the outside to close in on Sham, who was picking up steam. I didn't think anybody would be able to catch him, Pinkay said of Sham. I knew we were going to win. But Secretariat had other ideas. He caught Sham halfway down the stretch and won by two and a half lengths in a world record time of one minute and 59 seconds, the only derby winner ever to crack the two minute mark. Two weeks later in the Preakness, Secretariat went from last to first and never gave up the lead. On June 9th, 1973, with the Triple Crown on the line, Belmont was the final leg. Secretariat and Sham broke together and stayed that way into the first turn. They were by themselves on the backstretch when Secretariat made the biggest move ever seen in a Triple Crown race. Four fifths. Secretariat is widening now. He is moving like a tremendous machine. Secretariat by 12. Secretariat by 14 lengths on the turn. Sham is dropping back. It looks like they'll catch him today as Mike Allen and Vice the Prince are both coming up to him now. But Secretariat is all alone. He's out there almost a sixteenth of a mile away from the rest of the horses. Secretariat is in a position that is impossible to catch. He's into the stretch. Secretariat leads his field by 18 lengths. And now twice the Prince has taken second, and Mike Gallant has moved back to third. They're in the stretch. Secretariat has opened a 22-length lead. He is going to be the Triple Crown winner. Here comes Secretariat to the wire. An unbelievable, an amazing performance. He hits the finish 25 lengths in front. It's going to be twice the Prince second. Mike Gallant third. And Sam, who had it today, got back to fifth. Secretariat remained a popular figure even after Secretariat mania subsided. But his life ended tragically. Suffering from a painful hoof disease, the 19-year-old superstar was given a lethal injection on October 4, 1989, at Claiborne Farm in Paris, Kentucky. To this day, Secretariat remains one of the first names everyone thinks of whenever the topic of horse racing comes up, he wasn't just the greatest horse I ever had, Lauren said. He was the greatest horse anybody ever had. But just three days before Secretariat's tragic end, Bill Lamb took his family to Claiborne Farms in the hopes of just catching a glimpse of the legendary horse. But a trainer there was in a generous mood and allowed the Lamb family a personal visit with Secretariat. Lamb took his video camera, and what follows is a Nashville television station story on the final footage of Secretariat. I don't know, Rudy, if I can take this one more time. I, I, I about lost it last time watching this, so. It was awfully touching. Uh, Bill Lamb is a salesman from our staff, and he uh, took his family with his home video camera, and just on a whim, little did he know he would be one of the last people to see him alive, see Secretariat, yeah. and that is the story. There's a simple stone in the burial, burial ground at Claiborne Farm outside of Lexington, Kentucky. The inscription reads, Secretariat, 1970 to 1989. The big red stallion, considered by many to be the greatest race horse ever, was humanely put to sleep last Wednesday, suffering from an incurable hoof condition that was causing him a great deal of pain. Ironically, just three days before that, Bill Lamb and his family drove to Claiborne Farm on a whim, hoping to see this race racing legend. They're at the head of the stretch, and Sham is the leader. He leads it by a length. Secretariat is in the center of the racetrack and driving. Jackie Green now drops back. Secretariat on the outside to take the lead. 
Jam holding in second. It's Secretariat moving away. He has it by two and a half. I always felt like I'd want to see Secretariat, the greatest racehorse that ever lived. And we drove in and and actually wound up seeing the owner who, you know, came down the path from the stables. And I said, you know, I hate to impose, but, you know, we've just driven four hours and I didn't know you needed an appointment. I thought this was like Graceland or something. You know, you just show up and you go see Secretariat. And he says, oh, no, it's nothing like that. And I said, I mean, is there any way we could see the stallions while we're here, even though we don't have an appointment? And he said, uh, yeah, there are a couple hands up there. I think he'll probably take you up there. when they, They'll be coming down in just a minute down the path. Why don't you go into the, the cemetery right there and take a look at some of the, the tombstones of the, some of the other great horses that we've had here. And I said, so we'll get to see the stallions. Probably can't see Secretariat, though, huh? And he said, no, I'll show them to you. I'll show them to you. I'm thinking, wow, this is great. So I'm in there, and I'm trying to shoot my video of the tombstones in the cemetery, and I mean, I'm nervous. Because, I mean, I'm, I don't want to miss anything. And we walked out, and there was Secretariat, and he's just grazing. And they won't let him into his paddock to graze unattended now because, you know, they're afraid that he'd, he'd run. He's just got so much spunk, and you, he, they, he couldn't be running on those, on those hoofs. So um, we stood there, and I shot some video of him. And, and when, when we walked out there, and he heard us, his head came up and he turned and he looked at us. Oh, I mean, he, he knew he was on. And then he, he settled back down and he said, well, you look and I'll eat. So he just sat there and grazed, stood there and grazed. And, and then my kids were all standing together and he started to walk over. And the, the handler let him get within about three feet of the kids. And, uh, you know, I just, I said, kids, turn around. Let me shoot some video of you with Secretariat. And it was just, it was just wonderful. Did you know how bad his hoof condition was, what was wrong? They told us that um, uh, it was bad and that sometimes it killed horses. But they said, we think we have it under control. And they gave my daughter, uh, they, they said, Kira, here's something that you might like. And they, they gave her a braided piece of his mane. And they handed it to her. And she took it to school and was a big hero on Monday. But Secretariat was laid to rest next to his daddy, Bold Ruler. So uh, the, all these horses, he's, he's the greatest sire of all time, Bold Ruler. Yeah. And the other horses are there, but they always save the spot right next to daddy for Secretariat. Yeah, well, he certainly earned it. Didn't he? he did. Okay, thank you, Rudy. We'll be right back.